Hello, this is Mike Lively from Northern Kentucky University, and today we're going to do part 14 of FlexPress using Adobe Flex. And last time we treated a state navigation system, now we're going to treat what's called navigation containers. There are three basic navigation containers in Adobe Flex. One is a view stack, an accordion, and a tab navigator. Now the view stack is the superclass of the accordion and tab navigator and it has no visual presentation where the accordion and navigator do. Basically the view stack wraps other containers and treats them as a stack of cards. There are four toolbar containers which can be used with the view stack. The link bar, the tab bar, the button bar which has no feedback and the toggle button bar. Basically, you use the data provider of the link bar, tab bar, button bar, or toggle bar to bind the ViewStack ID. And then the labels of the items enclosed by the ViewStack bubble up into the toolbar container. So let's go ahead and try that out and see how it works. So last time we added a states navigation system with a tile list, and I've removed the tile list, and I've removed the states navigation system and we're going to add a new navigation system based upon ViewStack. So this is what we had before and now let's put the ViewStack navigation system and reintroduce the tile list as well. So let's go back and what I need to do is basically come down here and I'm going to go ahead and delete uh, the list that we had basically commented out so that doesn't get in our way and I want to add a ViewStack. So let's go ahead and do that MX view stack. There you have our code hinting. I want to get an, give it an ID. We'll call it ID. Give the ID my view stack. Not very creative here. And that's all I need to do. And when I close that tag, there's a closing tag. And now, as we saw from our rules, our view stack is basically going to wrap other containers, and those other container labels will be brought up through a label bar container. So let's go ahead and uh, grab some containers. Well, previously we had this um, thumbnail container. So let's bring that up. We'll use our Alt uh, key. Alt and arrow up. Now it doesn't have a label component. So, component, so let's put that in a V box which does have a label component. So MX Excuse me. So let's do a less than sign, MX VBox. There's our code heading. And let's close that. Then just highlight that and hit my Alt key and arrow down and then close that. And let's give that a label. And there's my code handy of. Thumbnail. Cool. So that's one of the components. I'd like my post to appear before my thumbnail. And it is basically enclosed in a panel. So if I go up here and I can see that my entire thumbnail system, my entire post system, is enclosed between panel tags. So I can grab that whole system. Let's cut that and come down here and paste it inside of the view stack. And let's give it a name. And we'll call it label post. And I have one more element, and that element is basically the tile list. Now I turn the tile list into a component, so it's very easy to work with. As opposed to it being inline code, which I'd have to move around and manipulate, being a component, I can just bring it in very easily into the new system. So let's go ahead and create another container. So I have my panel container. At the bottom of my panel container I now have my VBox which has my list and below that I'm going to create another VBox. And let's close that. And I'm going to put my tile list in there. So Let's go ahead and copy that code from a previous exercise. So I've just gone to our previous exercise and I've copied the tile list. 
And if you recall, last time I left it as a horizontal list. Let's turn it back into a tile list. And I really didn't have to do anything special here. Basically, I just went ahead and, and just copied and pasted it all in there, still having the same data provider as my WP Post. And uh, the item renderer comes from the full name of the uh, class. So there we go. We're really in good shape here. And we have everything we need. Let's give that a name in my VBox. We'll call the label. Let's get some code hinting here. Label is equal to tile list. Okay, so we're in good shape now. The only thing we need to do now is go ahead and put a container bar above that. We have four possibilities. So let's go above our view stack. And let's go ahead and put in a nav bar container. And let's take a look at what choices we have. We can use a link bar, a tab bar, a button bar, or a toggle bar. Let's try a link bar. And so we'll go MX link bar. And uh, basically, we just need to assign a data provider to it. And that data provider is the ID of the view stack. And that is a bindable expression, so we need to use curly brackets. And then we should fairly much be done. Let's review what we've done. We've inserted a view stack which wraps a panel container, which holds our post, wraps a VBox, which holds our list, and wraps another VBox, which holds our tile list. The tile list VBox is labeled tile list. The list VBox is labeled thumbnail. And the panel is labeled post. And those are going to bubble up into our, our link bar which uses the data provider my view stack, which is the ID of the view stack. So all that's bound and pulls all that information from the view stack. So let's run this and see what we get. So we're running our program here and we can see that we do see the post and we see the thumbnail and tile list name in the link bar, but we cannot activate those names and the reason being is because basically the panel is hiding those. So we need to go back to the design view and pull that panel down. Let's do that now. So we're in the design view, and we see here's our panel. So let's inch that down a little bit. And when we do, we can see, yes, indeed, we can now see our link bar. And let's move the post uh, name over a little bit. And now let's run the program. And now we do see that we can click on our button. So let's click on thumbnail. And there's our thumbnail. And let's click on tile list. And there's our tile list, and isn't that cool? And you know what? We're going to stick with this for a little while. Let me show you how to change these bars so very quickly. Let's go back to our uh, source view. And just by basically changing the names, and we had uh, four possible names. We could use a link bar, a tab bar, a button bar, and a toggle button bar. Let's take a look at the tab bar. So all we have to do is go here to the uh, link bar and just change this to tab bar. Let's save that to make sure we don't have any errors. And let's run that. See that? Now we have a tab bar. And our post is in uh, behind the tab bar, so let's move that out of the way. Go back to design. And we'll just move that out of the way over here. And now let's change that to a toggle bar or a button bar. So we can just go back to uh, tab, tab bar and change it to button bar. and run that. And now we have a button bar, but it doesn't keep track of where I was. So let's change it to a toggle button bar. And save that and run that. And there's my toggle. And it does keep track where I was. And it is bringing out all the three components. Uh, but I actually kind of like the link bar, so I'll go back to the link bar. And I think one of the things you should have seen through this exercise, basically how easy it was to set the uh, navigation view stack up, 
in addition how easy it was to bring the components in and that's one of the reasons why we really want to work everything into components because they're so easy to bring into these navigational tools and that's super